Business is doing unbelievably well. It's been one of a, a few of the COVID beneficiaries in the sense that a trend that we were expecting for, for a while now, predicting for a while now, has come to fruition, which is people want to access their audience, not just in their store but, or in their physical location, but want to access a broader audience. And they're using Vimeo's technology to do that. That's small businesses like yoga studios, fitness, churches, big businesses that want to do uh, town halls. And so it's really having an unbelievable time right now. And uh, it's also in this category called enterprise SaaS software, which people love. Uh, and as a result of that, their access to capital is probably uh, meaningfully cheaper outside of IAC than inside of IAC. So it's something we're thinking about right now. Yes, certainly it seems like that decision to pivot and focus really on that business consumer has uh, has certainly paid off a 44% growth in revenue at Vimeo in the quarter. I'm wondering when you look at that kind of growth, how sustainable you think that is and whether or not there is this phenomenon of a pull forward or whether you can maintain that kind of growth. Yeah, Julia, we think about that a lot. I think that the, the, the most compelling thing is once you start doing this, so you start doing town halls with all of your employees, are you going to, to stop post pandemic? And the reality is a lot of people have employees not just in one physical location or can't fit everybody in one physical room. And so you're going to want to, to broadcast to that whole group kind of forevermore. Um, I think same is true for, for small businesses. You've reached a larger audience. You're not going to want, even when you can have all your audience back physically in your store, you're not going to want to stop reaching that that bigger audience. I think it, it was more a breakthrough than it was a momentary pop, but you know we'll, we'll see as 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 things progress. Yeah, certainly, there's that question of how much COVID is really accelerating trends that are gonna gonna stick around. I want to make sure to get your perspective on MGM. You announced an investment in MGM in August. I believe MGM shares are up about thirty percent since then. So good timing there. Tell us what you think of that investment and how that makes you think about both MGM and other potential moves going forward. We're, we're as or more excited about it than we were when we got started. It certainly helps that we're, we've, we've made a little paper profit, but that's, that's irrelevant to the long-term thesis, I think, for us. Uh, they've got an unbelievable hand, I think, right now. First of all, we're very confident that the world comes back to normal at some point. Obviously, the current news on, on what's happening today in, in COVID is terrible, but the long-term news, which is there is a vaccine, there is going to be a solution, and we are going to move past that, is very encouraging for MGM, which means people are going to come back into the buildings, and the conference business, which is key to that business, is going to come back. And so we're, we're pretty excited about that. And the, the digital opportunity just continues to look better uh, with every passing day. When you're in a market that has a huge tailwind, which is what's happening in uh, U.S. sports betting and U.S. online gaming, then then every day generally continues to get better. And that's that's really what we're seeing there. Pretty excited about it. Hey, Joey, and when you look at potential acquisitions, how are you weighing that balance, sort of the recovery story with the digital transformation and what the opportunity looks like there? What kind of industries are you looking at? We're always looking at a pretty wide range. And I think that the the sort of short term COVID impact is not really a, a focus. I mean, that might make some opportunities. I think MGM was one of those opportunities. I'm not sure there's a huge amount more in that uh, vein that we're, we're focused on. Um, but really for us, it's long-term opportunities. And what we always say is we're looking to invest where the future is obvious. It's obvious to us, for example, in gaming that a lot more people who are doing it offline today are going to be doing it online in the future just due to the convenience of that. Um, other categories where the, the there's still huge categories where the offline to online transformation hasn't happened yet. And, and some of our existing businesses where hopefully we'll continue to put more capital are great examples of that. Uh, Vimeo being one, Andrew being another. Uh, and we're always going to prioritize acquisitions in areas where we, we already have a bet. We certainly like to make new ones, but we'll prioritize the ones where, where we're already focused. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.